I've got a new toy, and it's time for a little show and tell. We have our new Hugh Freedy double action bone mill. And what's nice about this is it's got two hinges, this hinge and this hinge. And what that ultimately does is it creates a mechanical advantage when we go to grind the bone. This is my shiny new Hugh Freedy double action bone mill. And man, am I excited to review this one with you. First of all, let's ask the most basic question we can. What is a bone mill? A bone mill is a handheld mechanical instrument that allows us to take a patient's autogenous bone and grind it down into particulates. This particulate matter can then be applied to deficiencies inside the patient's socket or dental arch. Autogenous grafting has some pretty huge advantages, but we won't get into those in this video. Suffice to say, autogenous grafts are the gold standard for bone grafting because they have all the components necessary for the patient to grow bone. Here's how to use a bone mill. First, you need to harvest the autogenous bone. The best way is a double action one drawer. Double action means it has two hinges. Yep. You just want to nibble on it. If you're doing a full arch or full mouth case, you'll get plenty of this when you reduce and level the bone on the ridge. Once you've harvested the bone, you'll pick up pieces of it with forceps, place them into the body concavity of the bone mill, and pack the bone snugly. Next, simply clamp down on the handles with one hand and hold the mill securely shut. With your other hand, turn the handle using this pattern. Do one turn, back and forth, one turn, back and forth, one turn, back and forth, and that's looking pretty good. Remove the autogenous graft material from the bone mill and pack it into the target deficiencies. I've been using a single action bone mill for years with great success. It's been very helpful to be able to turn bone into an ideal autogenous particulate graft material. When I saw that Hugh Freedy made a double action bone mill, however, I was intrigued Intrigued. Wow, it's magic! If you're not sure what a single or double action means, that's okay. The concept is pretty simple. A single action instrument is one that functions sort of like a standard pair of pliers. You have two handles that connect at a fulcrum and transfer forces to a set pair of jaws. The force on the jaws is pretty similar to the force you apply with your hand. A double action instrument adds in what's called mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage just means that the force you put into the tool is magnified. Think of a bolt cutter. How is it that you can easily slice through steel with just your own force? Huh. Well, through a cleverly designed mechanism, the lever arms of the cutters transfer the force you apply to the jaws of the bolt cutters. If you open the arms a couple of feet wide, Wide, the bolt cutter's jaws might only open a couple of inches. However, the force you apply to those arms will be magnified 30 to 60 times at the jaws. Just 50 pounds of force on the arms could end up being multiplied to more than a ton of force at the jaws. Why is it important to have this mechanical advantage in a bone mill? Well, much of the bone you'll be grinding down will be dense cortical bone. You'll need to apply a lot of force to the bone mill handles to grind this dense bone effectively. A mechanical advantage means you don't have to grip nearly as hard when using the mill. This is more comfortable, speeds up the bone milling process, and reduces your hand exertion, meaning that you're less likely to have shaky hands when you're trying to graft. I used the double action mill on a recent full mouth case, and man, did it work well. Within just five or six seconds of grinding, the bone became a beautiful, consistent particulate that I could then place into the deficiencies inside the dental arch. In addition, I think Hugh Freedy may have made some improvements to the grinding action of the mill itself. I found that the bone that I ground up was remarkably similar in consistency to bottle bone. This made it very easy to work with in the patient's mouth. I absolutely recommend this bone mill to anyone placing implants. It's 100% worth the price. Even if you've never used a bone mill before and you're not used to autogenous grafting, you'll be able to grind bone into beautiful material with relative ease. When your double action bone mill arrives, you'll have to do a bit of assembly. Don't worry, this won't end up like your first IKEA TV stand. In addition to the body assembly, there are just five parts to put together. A static grinder, rotating grinder, handle, and two screw caps that attach the parts together. You can assemble it in just a few minutes and give it a try. If you've been thinking about trying a double action bone mill, this is your sign to get one. I hope you found this review helpful. If there's a tool out there you'd like to see me review, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell so you can get notified when there's more helpful content posted. Thanks for watching. Smile Engineer, out.